the relay. Very important to note the difference between the relay and the rope to rope transfer. In the rope to rope transfer, you go up these set of lines and you change over on these set of lines. Whereas with the relay, we want you to change over onto these set of lines because they're so close to each other. Now, understanding a relay, relay is generally direct if there's hazards or it's over water or anything like that. As a level three, 10 to one up, these are our access ropes if we need to rescue someone. So back in the day, we used to be able to come up here, change over and then transfer. What happened was you took those ropes with you. You took the ropes either into the hazard or you took the rescue plan away from the level three. So changed it and we made it a three step process. You come up, change over here, remove your stuff from here, put it this side and transfer. And then the same back in reverse. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. So there's an extra step with the relay. So if you are confused, go have a look at the rope to rope transfer video, then watch the relay video and you will see the difference between the two. Okay, so I'm going to try not swing around while I do this. Again, back up first. Now remember guys, at level one, you're doing a relay with an offset of 1.5 meters or less. Level two and three, it can be greater than that. Level two, you rescue through a small relay. Level three, you rescue through a large one. Okay. Oh, I'm doing things backwards here. some guys need to get a little bit higher here you don't need to so what you need to be particularly aware of keep the up ropes up and down ropes access lines on your one side like you over here you have this on your other side so my piece of green floats So again, first thing on is the backup. And then the second thing is the descent. Now, at this point, if I wanted to get higher, I can. So all I do is I stand up here. Put my foot one step high in the foot loop. And change over. Now, I'm going to turn around now. Okay. Now I have completed my changeover. So step one was coming up. Step two is changing over onto here. Okay? Step three, I'm going to take these lines, pull them between my chest here and the descender so that that slack sits there. Right? I'm going to take that spare back up. Make your life easy. Put a little bit of tension on the rope and it slides on easy. Okay? Push that back up. Because I pulled this slack in here, the rope is automatically where it needs to be and I put the coal in. Now, all I did was pull myself across, tension up, and again with this maneuver, four points of contact to prevent an out of control swing, one point fouls. Now because I went up nice and high when I did this, I don't need to climb through this, I can just be clever and descend through. Thank you. 
as you can see. Even though I have a little bit of growth management issue, I don't need to sort it out because by the time I get here, I'm going to take this off and it's going to be sorted out for ready. So I just keep going. Right. Once I'm hanging underneath these anchors, you can see everything's loose here. Bring the rope, bring the back up to you, and that thing is here like this, bring it to you, and voila, everything is free. Now, I can carry on. So, we'll go up. Once I've passed those anchors, it's nice for you to change over again. So this was the third step I've transferred here. Now we're going back to it. Pull up the slack, bring that down, one carabiner space, and it's done slowly. Change over. Alright? Get everything nice and neat out the way here. Okay. Now you're going to descend. But your descender is in line with those anchors. Okay. Again, pull the slack end of the rope through here. Get your spare back up. Automatically, where I want to be. Okay, push your back up as high as you can. All you need to do here is pull yourself across. And that's where you want to be. And then you descend through it. Don't keep my hand by my waist here, simple reason. It's a lot of slack, but I've worked it in a way that I don't get stuck in the bottom of the loop. So I keep my hand right here. Because I pulled that rope through here, everything stays here the whole time. I'm hanging underneath these anchors. I can remove this stuff. See my guys, there was a little bit of an issue, but I know I'm taking it off here, so it doesn't bother me. Right, so step one was transferring through here, step two I'm hanging here now, step three, make sure these ropes are free and by your side there. Now we're going to come back here, put the back up on, and these lines, and all we use these lines for is coming up and going back down. My descender on. Now, depending on how you level three or level two rig this for you, I make the little loop in between. I can flip this right here because I need to stand up and change over. Or I can clip it in here. Now, I'm going to use it there. My reason for it. I'm going to stand up, pick it up, sit down slowly, I've got a little bit of work to do, I'm going to remove this, I don't want to descend yet, make sure you know which backup is which now, simply by looking, see that's my main line, right there bottom of the descender, this is the one I need to remove, so bring it down to me, See, all the twists and all the kinks and everything gets sorted out 
the moment I do the chain row. Right. Third step is coming down. Thank you for watching.